What's up, collectors and other humans? This is today. I want to finally be taking a look at Transformers for the Savage Run Kingdom Core Class Starscream. <laughs> Taking a really quick look at the packaging, we got a nice logo on the side, kingdom on the bottom, start screen on the side, a nice display of the figure itself, we got a gorgeous image on the top, you can see that he looks really menacing, he looks like he's about to attack some Autobots, and on the background, you can see the Decepticon ship, on the back, not much, just the uh, robot mode and the jet mode, as well as the 17 steps, and you transform him, and that's pretty much it for the whole thing, so without further ado, let's get into it. And here we have Transformers for the Savage Run Kingdom, Core Class Star Scream in hand, and out of the packaging, and as you can see, this guy looks amazing, from top to bottom, this this guy looks flawless. This is a paint distribution, just sculpted in detail. It blows my mind that this figure is ten dollars. Starting on with the items that he brings, as you can see, he brings his no rates, and oh my god, man, they look amazing for the sculpted in detail. They're not that bad at all. I'm giving you a 360 degree so you can appreciate the sculpted in detail. They got a couple of gaps on the bottom, but that doesn't matter. That's pretty normal. But as you can see, super accurate to the zero representation, and oh my god, man, not that bad for ten dollars. I know I, I sound like a broken disc by now, but I, I, I man, I just it, it blows my mind. As you can see, they look fantastic. Fantastic. They look exactly the same as the big ones. As you can see they, they're pretty much the same, but just smaller. For sculpted in detail, it's just completely the same. And even the same color as well. So, as you can see, they're not that bad. But with that being said, this is pretty much it for the weapons. And now for the moment you guys have been waiting for. Starscream himself. As you can see, oh my god, it blows me away. I, I know I sound like a broken disc, but again, just $10, man. Just You can see that the sculpted in detail looks fantastic from top to bottom. And give me a 360 degrees so you can appreciate, you know, the sculpted in detail that this guy has and as you can see it's pretty much the same thing as the boy you want it's just you know on the down scale and i don't know how they do this but it looks exactly the same super quality and just zooming in on the face call so you guys can appreciate you know sculpted in detail that he has uh i have no paint drips on the face call i have a couple of paint drips here and there but for the face call it's perfect and you know me i i hate when you know i have paint drips on the face call it's just it loses the quality but as you can see not that bad at all the grassy black looks fantastic with the silver and you can see that for the red eyes it, he looks super menacing and just moving on for the sculpted in detail so you guys can see that he has all over the place some nice some nice sculpted in detail and as you can see just the legs look fantastic the arm as well the no reds looks really accurate to the g1 representation and just on the back you can see that he has kind of like a backpack but this is pretty much the same as the boy you want so it really doesn't bother me at all he looks just fantastic and just, just moving on uh for comparison so you guys can see you know what i'm talking about let's bring the big one let me zoom out just a little bit and put the camera just a little bit up so you can appreciate the scale so you can see it's pretty much the same thing you can see that the color distribution it's on point and, and again it's just the only major differences that i can see is that this is painted and this is just clear plastic and again just ten dollars and thirty so it really doesn't compare uh for the quality that you're getting and you can see that pretty much the feet are the same the legs as well the chest is pretty much the same as well you can see that the arms is sculpted in detail is pretty much a copy and paste of each other and the no race you already saw that are pretty much the same thing from the sides you can see that they look fantastic the only major difference is is that this one you, you have the decepticon logo on the front and on this one you got decepticon logo on the back but that's pretty much it for the only differences on the sides and obviously on the back you can see that he has no decepticon logo and this one does and it's because this you know it rotates uh to the front so you can appreciate you know the decepticon logo on the front but that's pretty much it uh you can see that the backpack is exactly the same and you can see that the the paint distribution as well as sculpted in detail is pretty much the same thing the only difference is that he has a hinge here and this one has a ball joint but that's pretty much it and obviously on the other side it's pretty much the same so oh my god man i don't know how they did it but as you can see it's pretty much the same thing but on a little scale and now for a comparison so you guys can see how he looks next to the other core classes here we have megatron and optimus so you guys can see how they scale together and as you can see oh my god man they look fantastic and once again man when are they gonna release some autobots as you can see they have two decepticons now and Sunway is you know around the corner so we're gonna have three decepticons and only one autobots and i really don't understand why maybe the autobots are a little bit more difficult you know to shrink down but as you can see they look fantastic super accurate to the g1 representation as you can see for optimus let me go ahead and, and bring you know his weapon down so you guys can see the scale for the scale it's not that bad i believe optimus prime should be a little bit more bigger but i honestly i really don't care 
so you can see they look fantastic together and for uh megatron and starscreen they man they they look super super great super accurate to the UR representation as you can see they look just so good together they um honestly i'm i'm a fan i remember when the core class you know was announced i was like man i, I really was not excited about it but you know since i got vertebrae then rat trap and and optimus prime here i i was just blown away and since then I, i've been just sounding like a broken disc because again these are just ten dollars every single one of them basically you got a, a boy girl class with three of them and as you can see they look fantastic and i am uh hoping that they look super great with the arc you know the titan class arc they, they just gonna look great because you know the, the smaller they are the accurate they are on size scales with the arc but as you can see this is pretty much it for the comparisons another thing that i wanted to mention is you can go ahead and pick up megatrans blaster you know the one that he transforms into on g1 series and you can go ahead and pick it in with starscream and it looks better than with uh megatron because you know megatron is not going to hold himself it looks more accurate with starscream as you can see he looks just great with it looks fantastic and again more accurate to the g1 representation either him or soundwave but i don't know why it was packaged with uh megatron because again megatron is not going to hold himself but as you can see it looks really really good with starscream for articulation that he brings it's not that bad it's pretty decent you can you know get some awesome poses with it but it doesn't blow me away but again i cannot complain that much because it's only ten dollars the head is on a swivel you can go ahead and give it the all 360 degrees it's a little stiff on mine so i'm not going to do it i don't want to break it uh this is on a bulging you can go ahead and give it the all 360 degrees as well uh this is on a bulging as well you can do a 90 degree bend there this likes to pop up a lot so beware uh no swivel on the waist and the legs can extend about that far and only about that far due to the backpack for the splits he does a fairly decent splits so you can see not that bad at all always good to have uh and as you can see you got a 90 degree bend there but that's pretty much it for the articulation as you can see no ankle pivoting but again i cannot complain that much it's uh, it's pretty decent but you can go ahead and do some awesome poses with it for tristan mention it's really simple there are a couple things you gotta keep in mind here and there there are a couple pet ports that are really sketchy they can break really easily but other than that it's really simple go ahead and remove the no reds like so so they don't get on the way go ahead and rotate the arms like these and the same on the other side and you want to go ahead and pick them on the wings and they go uh slightly bent as you can see just, just a little bent there uh so they can go ahead and secure themselves on the wings when you do that go ahead and remove the chest like so and this is the part that it really sketchy because as you can see they're really really small they can break really easily so go ahead and remove the face like so and go ahead and remove this section as well and put the uh legs on this position what that does is you want to go ahead and rotate this entire piece uh like these so uh when you put it like that it doesn't get in the way go ahead and put put this on position like so and do the same on the other side go ahead and rotate the face like so you want to go ahead and peg it on the front of the jet mode when you do that that's pretty much it for the front of the jet mode now go ahead and proceed to the back go ahead and peg the section and remove the the little wings and put them like these do the same on the other side do this and do this as well and peg them in uh, when you do that just that's pretty much it for this area you want to make sure that they're uh, pegged when you hit that it means they're uh, on position like so that's pretty much it last but not least you want to go ahead and pet uh, the chest of the robot mode on the back or on the bottom of the jet mode and uh, uh this is really sketchy because it, it, honestly you gotta make some force i really don't like it if you want to make some force uh, that's up to you but I, I just leave it there uh you don't have to peg it in so uh put them there and make sure that this does not unpeg because this likes to unpeg and when you're done that's pretty much it for the whole transformation now let's go ahead and uh repeg the no reds uh to make it a little bit more accurate to the g1 representation the same on the other side and that's pretty much it when you're done there you have him start scream on his awesome and i mean awesome jet mode for the jet mode you can see that that g1 accuracy translates really well into the jet mode itself you can see that that color distribution looks fantastic i have no paint whatsoever on the purple or on the red and the yellow as well looks fantastic my paint drips are on the blue that they're you know dripping out into the gray so other than that that's pretty much it for the paint drips i honestly do not mind that at all my only cons are the head as you can see you can technically see the head and once you see it you cannot unsee it and i really would prefer it if they would you know hide this section particularly better but as you can see that's pretty much my only con for a nick pick i would have preferred that this would have you know peg into the wing itself not the arms for you know more uh t1 accuracy 
but again other than that that's pretty much it honestly it looks fantastic from top to bottom the sculpted in detail looks uh, honestly stunning and as you can see it looks really really good for a comparison with his boy your counterparts you guys can see the differences and the similarities that they have as you can see they look really good together and for the major difference is this section right here they did a really good job on covering the head and as you can see this one does not but honestly i cannot complain that much you know because of the budget and you can see that this one uh there are no red specs on the wings and not the arms like the ten dollar one but as you can see other than that that's pretty much it the other differences are minor like you know the septicon logo is flip on this one and on this one is facing the opposite way and for this one you can see that it has a silver thingamajig i don't know which one would call this but as you can see this one has a peg so even that is pretty much the same but other than that you can see that they have no differences whatsoever they're pretty much the same on the colors uh this one has a little bit more of a baby blue and the core class has you know a little bit more darker of a blue color but again just other than that that's pretty much it they have no differences whatsoever it's just a copy and paste of the boy you were one and now for a comparison between him and the core class you guys can see how he scales here we have optimus prime first as you can see they look fantastic i believe optimus prime should be a little bit more smaller because again this is a jet and this is just a truck so uh to a reality this is not accurate at all on scale but as you can see they i really don't care they look fantastic together and i cannot wait to add some more core classes into my collection because as you can see they just look fantastic but moving on let me go ahead and bring uh megatron here so you guys can see you know how starscream and megatron scale together and as you can see not that bad at all they look fantastic and they look really really good together all of them do and i cannot wait to add sound wave into my collection but with that being said this is pretty much it for the comparison for the choosing metron back to roll mode it's pretty easy you want to undo whatever you use to transform it to jet mode first what i like to do is to remove the no reds so they don't get on the way next you want to go ahead and unpack the chest from the legs like so remember this is the sketchy part so beware uh this can break really easily so go ahead and unpack the legs like so uh, uh trick this section down uh put it to the front like so go ahead and rotate it uh on the other side like so and when you're done with this section go ahead and position it down like so go ahead and do the same on this area go ahead and unpack it put it down and put the uh the front of the jet mold down as well that's going to allow you to rotate this entire piece uh, without no trouble go ahead and position this back to normal put this section to the back rotate the face and peg it in like so and when you do that go ahead and peg back the chest like so that's pretty much it you want to go ahead and position the uh the arms like so uh and do the same on the other side and go ahead and peg back in the no rex on uh you know the areas go ahead and peg this one as well and as you can see that's pretty much it that you're having when you're done there is starscream back into his awesome looking robot mode and with all that being said this is pretty much it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like it really helps you to go in on how my videos get all done in a while so if you get anything any value in my content please subscribe and i will see you on the next video but this is pretty much it for transformers for savage run kingdom core class starscream